Codex is a new data authoring tool for engineers. The main Codex window contains menus, breadcrumbs, and the editor area. There's also a context menu. To the left of the main window is the element library. I can open multiple Codex windows using File, New Window, and I can create a new topic or map within the current window using File, New File. Let's start by opening a topic from the Codex help system. Codex provides two views of topics and maps. XML view shows tags on all elements, so I can see the complete structure of the topic. Text view shows just the text. It's not exactly WYSIWYG, but it does give me an idea of what the topic will look like when it's published. In either view, as I move my mouse around, elements are shaded in light blue, and a tooltip displays the element name. And whenever I place the cursor, the breadcrumbs show the path from the root element to the current element. Now I'm going to modify this topic. Editing text is much like other applications, so I'll skip right to working with elements. Say I want to move a step in this procedure. First I need to select the step element. To do this, I place the cursor within the element text, right click, and then click select. This shows me a list of elements starting with the content in the current element, then the current element, and continuing up the element hierarchy to the topic's root element. As I move the mouse over this list, the element text is highlighted in light blue within the topic. In this case, I'm going to select the step element. Now, with the element selected, I can drag and drop it. When I drag a block element, blue horizontal lines show me the valid drop locations. So to move this step, I drag onto one of these lines and release. I can use a similar workflow to copy elements. Again, I select the element, but this time I hold down the control key while I drag and drop. I can also copy an element from one topic to another. To do this, I don't need to hold down the control key. Now the context menu is just one way to select an element. I can triple click text to select the first block element that contains that text. I can click an element in the breadcrumbs to select it, or I can click and hold to show a list of child elements. Like the context menu, when I move the mouse over this list, the elements are highlighted in light blue within the topic. Or in XML view, I can just click the element tag. Moving or copying text or inline elements is a little different. Instead of blue horizontal lines being displayed within the topic, a blue triangle is displayed above the mouse pointer at valid drop locations. Inserting new elements is similar to moving or copying elements. It's done via drag and drop, but in this case the drag starts from the element library. The element library has three sections. Basic elements contains the most common elements for structuring a topic. If I want to add a short description to this topic, I drag short description from the element library into the topic and drop onto the blue horizontal line. The element library also contains a section that alphabetically lists all data elements. Again, I drag the element from the element library into the topic. In this case, it's an inline element, so I can drop the element wherever a blue triangle is displayed above the mouse pointer. I can also insert elements using Insert Element. There are two ways to do this. First I can select an element and then click Insert Element. In this case, the dialog lists elements that can be inserted within or after the selected element. Or I can place the cursor within text and then click Insert Element. In this case, the dialog lists elements that can be inserted at the cursor location. There's one more way I can effectively insert an element and that's by tagging text. First I select the text to tag and then click Tag Text. To edit element attributes, select the element and click Edit Attributes. Codex provides special commands for working with images, tables, and equations. To insert an image, place the cursor and then click Insert Image. This dialog lets me browse for an image file and set some of the common attributes. To insert a table, drag Table from the element library into the topic. I can then use the Table menu to add rows and columns. To insert an equation, place the cursor and then click Insert Equation. Codex includes the MathFlow Equation Editor, but to use MathFlow with Codex, you must purchase a MathFlow license from Design Science. There's one more section in the Element Library. 
Custom Elements is a place where you can store elements, including child elements and text, for easy reuse. For example, if I frequently use a table with specific columns and column headings, I can drag that table to Custom Elements and give it a name. Then, whenever I need that table, I can drag it from Custom Elements into my topic. That's it for topics. Now I'm going to set up a simple map. First, I'll create the map file and save it. Next, I'll drag topic files from my file browser into the map. This creates topic refs to all of the topics. Now I'll drag and drop the topic refs into the order that I want. There are two ways to create child topic refs in this version of Codex. First, I can select a topic ref and then click Insert Reference. This lets me select any number of topic files and add them as children of the selected topic ref. Or, I can go to XML view, select one or more topic refs, and then drag and drop them within another topic ref element. Finally, to open a topic ref from within a map, select the topic ref, right click, and click Open. As you can see, Codex is an easy way to create and edit data content. To learn more, visit codex.ca.